Hey groups, it is good to be with you guys again. Um, we are getting close to wrapping up this series on distinct. We've been looking at um, the group of Israelites, the group that God chose to be distinct in a world that was full of sin and full of idol worship and all of that. And we've been following these Israelites through the desert, and it seems they're getting close to the place that God has called them to go, the promised land that he has been promising uh, now for years. And what we see at the end of Deuteronomy, I want to read this a minute, Deuteronomy 32, 7 through 9, uh, Moses is speaking to the Israelites, and he says this, Remember the days of old, consider the generations long past. Ask your father, and he will tell you your elders, and they will explain to you. Uh, Moses is saying, remember. Remember how God has been faithful. Remember how God has shown up in our lives from um, pulling us out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Um, Remember how God has always been seeking us out, wanting to build a relationship with us to the point that he, he brings a tabernacle in the city. Remember where God has been faithful in our lives. Um, and over the course of this weekend, we looked, we, we as a church remembered, um, we got the chance to look back on how God has been faithful in our lives personally and the lives of this church of the foundry. We had a lot of profession of faith over the, this last weekend as well. And we were able to see, um, really look back and see how many people have professed their faith in the foundry over the course of the last few years as well. It was an exciting time to remember as a church. So um, I'm excited for these questions coming up for you guys as you do a little bit of that uh, yourselves in your faith journey. Um, But kids, if you're in the room, uh, leaders, go ahead and look on the back. It has kids questions. Leaders, you can go ahead and walk the kids through those and then we'll jump right into adults content. All right, groups, question number one. Looking back on the challenge from last week, uh, what did you notice by praying part of Psalm 90, 14 through 17 over your home and family? If you did that, how did that, what happened? Did your posture change? Did anything come on that? Um, Have that conversation. Question number two, Um, think back to when you first visited the foundry. Um, What what made you come back and what made you get invested into this church? Remember back at that journey. Number three, Uh, When was a time that you maybe forgot something that was important? Guys, maybe it was an an anniversary and your wife is looking at you right now thinking, yeah, you remember that that one time you forgot me, right? (laughs) Hopefully it wasn't to that extent. Um, But think about that moment. Is there anything, when we think about that, how did you make sure that it would not happen again in the future? Or did you have people in your life that made sure that that would not happen again? Think of a time that you forgot something important. All right, for question number four, we took time over this weekend as a church uh, to remind ourselves about how God has been faithful for us and in this world. What is one thing that stuck out to you um, from the service and how do you feel like it applies to your life? Number five. Um, In the early part of the message this weekend, uh, Eric spoke on um, God's faithfulness through Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Um, Is there, here's the question in this, what story of God's faithfulness applies most relevantly to your life? And then which story do you appreciate most and why?
The second part of the message, focus about God's faithfulness in Jesus' atoning sacrifice on the cross. Um, here's the question in this, number six. When you think of Jesus' work on the cross, what do you think of? And when you think of that, what are you most thankful out of that thing? All right, for number seven, this is the challenge for this week. Um, think back to where God has been faithful in your life. Take two different moments and write those two things down. Um, and then take some time this week to thank God and to continue to put yourself in a posture of a heart posture that says thank you to God for those things throughout this week. All right, groups, for the Digging Deeper section this week, it's not as much of a sit down and study something deeper. It's actually go out and get something. Um, we want you to create a memory shelf. There's moments in our lives where we'll look back on and think, oh yeah, God was faithful in that. I, I didn't remember that. Um, creating a memory shelf full of items that remind you of how God's been faithful and then putting it up somewhere in your house and putting those items on there. Anytime you go past, you think, wow, God's been faithful in that and God's been faithful in that piece of my life. And it can be something that you continue to add to as you see how God's faithfulness continues to show up in different ways in your life. So the Digging Deeper section today, um, do it as a family at home and sit down and say, where has God been faithful in our lives? Maybe go back through old pictures to remind yourselves of places that you've been and how God has shown up in the good times and in the bad times and how he's worked all things for good. Um, so that's your Digging Deeper section. If you guys got time, jump into that. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you soon.